Well, Halloween wouldn't be the same without a few spooky stories, and it turns out there are several haunted spots right here in Las Vegas. Yeah, the Westgate Hotel reportedly haunted by a spirit who has not left the building. Elvis Presley, 13 Action News anchor Jackie Kostick takes you inside. Elvis Presley performed his last show in this building in December of 1976, but over the years, many people have reported seeing his image, which means that his spirit maybe never left the building. On July 1st, 1969, the International Hotel opened in Las Vegas. At the time, it was the largest hotel and casino in the world. 30 days later, it would become home to one of the world's biggest entertainers, Elvis Presley. It was at that time billed as his comeback tour, and it was there was a great buzz about that in, in Las Vegas. Elvis performed 837 consecutive shows at the International Theater over seven years. The theater often packed with stars like Cary Grant and Carol Channing. His last show was in December of 1976. Several months later, in the summer of 77, the king of rock and roll was dead. Shortly after, Elvis's friend and fellow Las Vegas performer Wayne Newton got a call from what was then the Las Vegas Hilton. And I believe he was hesitant about it because it was his friend and it was his friend's stage, but he was encouraged that this was an incredible opportunity, you need to do this, so he did. A couple of months after Elvis's death, Newton and his band director created an Elvis medley, a tribute for his late friend. Before a show one evening, he was told by a crew member that the balcony would be closed that night, something performers were made aware of before shows so they wouldn't acknowledge a crowd that wasn't there. Mid-show, he called for the medley the first time he would perform it. While he sang, all of the lights in the theater fell. Well, all but one. A spotlight on Newton. The band kept playing, so Wayne kept singing. And he says that as he's performing, he looks up, he notices the image of a man coming into the balcony. The balcony would be right up in this way from, from when he tells the story. And he thought it was strange because he was told specifically there'd be no one up there. The person in the balcony, Newton said, was Elvis. And he said that he looked at him. Elvis looked down at Wayne. He looked very, uh, he looked at peace. He smiled at him. And when Wayne tells a story, he said, you know, it made him feel that Elvis was telling him he's okay and you know was appreciating the performance. Newton describes the experience as one of the best of his life. And while Mr. Las Vegas may be the most famous person to report seeing Elvis on property, he's far from the only one. Employees and visitors have reportedly seen Elvis's image on the casino floor, in the long dark hallways of the upper floors, and in the Tuscany Villa, otherwise known as the Elvis Suite. The Tuscany actually sits where the Elvis suite was. Behind me here, I'm sitting in what would have been their master bedroom. This would have been where Elvis's room was. Um, there were, it's down the hallway there, there were several other bedrooms. He always had a group of people that traveled with him and they'd all stay up here with him. And many of the people who stay here now have reported feeling Elvis's presence, seeing his image, and even hearing his music drift through the space, even when there's no radio turned on. So is Elvis's spirit really still in the building? And why would he have stayed all these years later? This was such an important part. His comeback was on this property. He did 837 shows that people come from all over the world and visit, whether they stay here or just come to see because it was the place where Elvis was. Yeah, I do believe his spirit is still present in this building. And, and when people feel it, there's a real feeling there. Jackie Kostek, 13 Action News. All right, and the Westgate is not the only place you might see ghosts. We also have a list of the 13 most haunted places in Las Vegas on our website, ktnv.com.